So where were you on September 11th, 2001? 9-11 is a day that changed so much in our great country. Who can ever forget the images from that horrific day? Planes crashed into buildings, buildings came crashing down, thousands of lives were lost. But of all the storylines from this terrible tragedy, perhaps none is more indelible than the sacrifice given by the first responders of New York City. Firefighters, policemen, EMTs. When everyone else was running for their lives, these were the guys running straight into the flames. Today we look back at this historic event and raise the question, what is different about first responders since 9-11? To help us answer questions, we interviewed some local firefighters. We wanted to know where they were on that fateful day. I was downtown at Fire Station 1 when the first tower was hit, and me and another firefighter was heading to um, Hot Springs, Arkansas. I was actually walking into work that morning and was standing in the break room getting a cup of coffee. My wife came in to me and said, hey, we're under attack. I remember 9-11 because I had just started with the Harrison Police Department. Actually, I was working as a lieutenant at Fire Station number 3 when uh, turned on the TV that morning. I was actually working in a wood shop on 9-11. I, I just remember being shocked at what was going on. But on September 11th, 2001, the landscape for first responders changed forever. You know, before, you really didn't think, I didn't anyway, I didn't really think, I just, you know, just went in there and did my job and come back out. Kind of watching behind her back more, you know, looking over her shoulder. I think that we're all um, more sensitive to certain situations. No one knows if it's just a local emergency or if it's some sort of terrorist attack. We discovered that since 9-11, many first responders look at their job very differently. There's a little bit of difference now, radio communications. They pass laws right after that to make sure that we do plain talk on the radio, that we don't use codes and signals and all of that kind of stuff because they were different everywhere that you went. We've all had to take more uh, instant, what they call incident command classes. I get an email almost every day from Homeland Security uh, that has highlights of what's going on in the country. On September 11th, there were many emergency workers who perished in this tragedy. Firemen, policemen, EMTs, they are real people with real emotions. 9-11 is our, our generation's Pearl Harbor, and I think it has changed us all. We all commemorate how long it's been since 9-11. That's kind of one of the reasons that I tried to get into the fire service, because I watched what happened on 9-11, and I thought that would be something that I'd want to get into. It was sad, because, you know, you know it, could, it could have been one of us. We asked first responders if they thought they were the heroes. I'm not a hero. You know, I, I don't think I'm any more of a hero than anybody else. I mean, we just do our job. We're not heroes, we're firefighters. I mean, it's what we do. I consider myself not a hero. We're here to do a job. I don't feel like I'm anything different than, you know, anyone else. We don't feel like we're heroes at all. We discovered that while they believe they're just doing a job, it seems that everybody else has a different idea. Thank you to our heroes. Thank you to the firefighters and policemen. You are all heroes. Thank, Thank you, you to our heroes. heroes. Thank you to all the policemen and firemen. Thank, Thank you, you to our heroes. heroes. Thank you to all the heroes. Thank you to our heroes. We want to thank you for your service to our country. Thank you to our heroes. September 11th, 2001, when rescuers became heroes.